Good afternoon and welcome to our KRQE.com webcast. I'm Deanna Saucetta. We begin with meteorologist John Smith in the forecast. Hi, John. Hi, Deanna. We are looking for a big change as we move into the rest of the week. That chances of showers that we saw in the eastern part of the state will still be around for this afternoon, but we're only looking at a couple of spot showers and storms in the eastern parts of the state as we continue to punch in some drier air from the west. And that will be the trend throughout the week. We will continue to dry out, and eventually we lose those chances in the east as well. We replace those shower chances in the east with some big time heat with temperatures in the triple digits anywhere from Tucumcari all the way down to Carlsbad. We now know who will be on the ballot for the November election. Some results didn't come in until after midnight. In the U.S. House District 1, Michelle Lujan Grisham beat Eric Griego 40 to 35 percent. Former Albuquerque Mayor Martin Chavez came in third. Lujan Grisham will now face Republican Janice Arnold Jones in November. Lonnie Talbert beat out Michael Weiner in the Republican primary for the Bernalillo County Commission. Weiner only got 16 percent of the vote. And one of the most heated races coming up in November will be for the Senate seat vacated by Senator Jeff Bingaman. Retiring after 30 years. For the Republicans, Greg Sowards, a businessman from Las Cruces, basically paid for his own campaign, but as expected, Heather Wilson came out on top with about 70% of the votes. In the Democratic race for Senate, Martin Heinrich beat out Hector Baldettis with 59% of the vote. The Whitewater Baldy Complex fire in the Gila National Forest has been burning now for three weeks. More than 1,000 personnel are battling the lightning blaze caused blaze, that is, that has now charred more than 263,000 acres. It is 22 percent contained. There will be a community meeting at 6 this evening at the Glenwood Community Center to update the public on the firefighting efforts. We'll stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates throughout the day. Have a great day and see you tomorrow, everybody.